Hello everyone, I wanted to make a quick video for you DynamoDB users. There's been an improvement to the DynamoDB console and it actually solves one of the biggest complaints that I've had with the DynamoDB console since the new version was launched about a year or so ago. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So if you go into the DynamoDB console and say for example, you're trying to find items in a table. First of all, it brings you to just a default dashboard screen. Now to get to your tables, you need to click on the tables button on the side. Then you need to click on whatever table that you're looking for, visited URLs in my case. And then finally, you need to go to the top right and click on explore table items before finally you can see what is inside of your table. Not so bad, but if you're doing this dozens of times per day and every day for many, many days, you can see that this gets really, really frustrating. And the reason I was frustrated by this was because in the previous version of the console, you barely had to do any of that. I think there was only one click for you to get into the items page and to actually take a look at a bunch of your different items here. So let me show you about this new feature now. So over on the left hand side, if you take a look here under the settings section, you can see this is indeed a new feature. You can customize a bunch of different settings for the DynamoDB section of the console. So if you click on this, the first thing that it allows you to do is change between a comfortable or a compact mode. The comfortable is much more sparse in terms of the records and the compact mode is much more condensed. So you're going to get a lot more data on your screen, a lot less wasted white space. I really like the compact mode. What I was showing you before was comfortable, but this one allows you to see a whole lot more in one shot. And then here under the default entry page, this allows you to change what page you see by default. So the dashboard is pretty useless for a lot of people. For me, I like to see either tables or explore items. Then you can see the default table tab when you click on, for example, a table. Do you want to see the overview? Do you want to see the indexes? Do you want to see monitor? What do you want to see here? So let's say, for example, we are interested in seeing indexes, actually maybe monitor. And then another cool feature too, is that when you're trying to explore items, like you can see here, um, there's a page that pops up that asks you by default to scan your table. You can change that now to query. And then in this mode down here, default item editor view, when you click through to an item, you can either see it as a form or as a JSON. And then when you click through into the item even more, you can see either as a normal JSON or a DynamoDB JSON. So let me show you what I'm talking about here. So I have the compact mode selected now. You can see compact. I'm going to click on save. And you can see right away that things are a little bit more condensed, much more information on the screen for reference. Here's what it looked like before. And side by side, you can tell there's uh, quite a bit of white space that was trimmed by using this new version. All right, pretty cool. And if we back out of this really quick, let's just go back. Actually, let me just go to DynamoDB again to show you what the entire experience is. Now we don't see the dashboard. We're automatically on the table section. And so that's an improvement overall. If I click on this, it should bring us to the monitoring page because that's what I set as my default homepage after clicking to a table. Now let me show you that explore items page and show you how that changes as well. So if we click on an item here, we can see instead of seeing that form, we're seeing just the normal JSON content. You can always switch back if you want by going to the form up here to see what it looks like in table form. And then in addition, um, we're not seeing the DynamoDB JSON, you know, with the strings and numbers and all those different things. We're seeing just the raw JSON. So you can toggle that on or off if you want to see it in that way. Now a negative about this feature is that it does not seem to persist this setting across different browsers. Um, and I assume that also means this doesn't work across different accounts, although I haven't tried it yet. Uh, but it is a really great quality of life improvement. I suggest for you to check it out. Uh, you can just access it again by going on the side here to the settings section once you're in the DynamoDB console and play with some of the preferences here. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you next time.